Since its first election observation mission to Russia in 1993, the OSCE Parliamentary Assembly has deployed thousands of parliamentarians as election observers across the OSCE area, covering North America, Europe, North Africa and Central Asia. The main objective of election observation is to hold OSCE countries accountable to the election-related standards they have committed to. It is also an important exercise in bridging differences and building trust, both within countries and between countries. Observers assess elections for their compliance with a set of commitments agreed to in 1990. In the OSCE Copenhagen document, governments agreed on a framework for the conduct of democratic, free and fair elections. In recognition of the important role that international observation can play in electoral processes, the participants agreed to welcome representatives of other OSCE countries to observe their national elections. Observers pay close attention to whether there is a clear separation of the state from political parties, that there is equal suffrage for all adult citizens, that the right of individuals to run for office as independents or as members of political parties is unhindered, that there is unimpeded media access and honest and transparent vote counting. To assess whether elections meet these standards, observers review the country's election-related legislation, candidate, party and voter registration, campaign activity, media coverage, election administration and the handling of electoral complaints. Before the election, observers are briefed by government representatives, political parties, civil society and journalists. Mission leaders, appointed by the OSCE PA president and the OSCE chairperson in office, hold meetings with election stakeholders and administrators to assess the campaign climate and the preparations for the elections. Observers deploy to various regions around the country for election day. They start the day early to observe an opening of a polling station and continue their work throughout the day, visiting many dozen polling stations and work well into the night. Observers carefully look at the administration of the election. They observe the climate for voters and contestants alike. They monitor the closing station and the vote count, reporting their findings to be included in the overall assessment of the election. The presence of parliamentary observers brings added credibility and visibility to the election observation mission. As parliamentarians who have personal experience in political campaigns and electoral systems, OSCE PA observers add a unique and essential perspective to the overall election observation process. When members of parliament engage in election observation, they bring their unique expertise, uh, their unique uh, uh, capacity to understand what's uh, going on in an election. The members of parliament live and die by elections. They compete uh, in their own constituencies. So when they come in the international arena and they see an election, they can understand things that maybe those who have been there for a longer time uh, maybe have overlooked. So it's this unique exercise of having together the experts who are there for a long time, the long-term observers, observers and the short-term observers, members of parliament, who can complement the work of the long-term observers. And I think this unique matrimony of the two sides brings better statements, better assessments of the election observation and a better service to the country where we observe, because uh, at the end of the day we do this for the countries and the citizens where we observe elections. The appointed leaders of the OSCE PA Election Observation Mission work closely with partners such as the OSCE Office for Democratic Institutions and Human Rights and the Council of Europe. Incorporating input from long-term and short-term observers, the leadership from the PA and other international bodies meet several times during an election observation mission to discuss findings and work on a joint statement to be presented the day after the election. Our main conclusion are that yesterday's elections were held with respect for fundamental freedoms and enjoyed broad public trust that needs to be preserved through further electoral reforms. Their participation raises the media profile of the observation mission, as politicians are often sought out for their comments by journalists. As members of parliament, they are also in an excellent position to relate their experiences directly into policy circles in their capitals. In addition, they report back on the election to the OSCE Parliamentary Assembly, where representatives from the country being observed can hear and respond to criticisms and observations of their electoral processes. Uh, the overall evaluation of the OSCEPA report um, has been appreciated by our delegation. Uh, it mentioned um, 
the competitive environment, the free and diverse media, the unrestricted access to the courts, and of course we observed the criticisms and suggestions for improvement in the report, including uh, negative campaigning, room for improvement in campaign finance, particularly with regard to transparency, enfranchisement, and voter registration issues. Although election observation is traditionally associated with countries in transition, in recent years, the OSCEPA has been expanding its scope and deploying observation missions to both established democracies and emerging democracies. Since 2004, the PA has observed elections in the United States, and more recently has sent observers to the United Kingdom, Germany and Italy. This balanced approach helps ensure that there are no double standards within the OSCE, and that election-related commitments are even-handedly upheld. And we regularly observe in both consolidated democracies and younger developing democracies. This approach helped us demonstrate that electoral observation missions should not be perceived as a black mark to the country, but as an important opportunity to strengthen our democracies, all of them. For more information on the OSCE Parliamentary Assembly's election observation activities, please visit our website at oscepa.org, where you can find relevant background materials, including the 1990 OSCE Copenhagen document, and post-election statements and reports dating back to 1993.